Over, and then you know, casting a major in English or something like that. It is so dope when, like, the best people in the world straight up bother le learning better English for us to entertain us. <laughs> That's a first blood on the deuce. Holy crap! We talked about the kill potential of the hard lane, and hopefully, this game well. Honestly, Molasses, I love you, and I would much prefer in terms of like individual players Molasses to win because I really love his playstyle, but BBH, they need the wins. So I'm sorry, Wolf, but the stomping is gonna continue with another kill onto this Medusa. I did praise him a ton for being him, basically, but that doesn't mean he doesn't struggle against Engine Apparition. <laughs>
dagger. It's one of my favorite items. Select your heroes. And then, if you can't blink because there's a specter haunting you, getting it. Personally, I love when Chen's, as a support especially, do that split push thing where you got a dead lane that nobody does anything with. Send a creep or two over there. Just make sure it pushes in and you create a little bit of extra space for your team. I think that's always going to be worth having one less creep to harass and last it with once the creep starts falling off a little and you actually do need to split push. Especially if you're a squishy crystal maiden with a whole lot of two armor. Visage still alive. Not poking with the soul assumption as much as he'd like to, but the crystal maiden aura is going to help change that. Solotic. He has done a lot of good work. It's not like he doesn't know how to play his visage. Can people stop dying on top while I'm trying to analyze other lanes? Just get that range creep. Make sure Morph can't last it this time around. I'm not gonna miss the kill though, as Earthsword on the bottom lane is gonna go down. With a bunch of creeps hitting him with the Chen, enabling that dive, tanking the tower. Expect the firing behind the tower. It's that's not where you want your position one. If it means Keeper of the Night doesn't get a thing. Oh, that's a good rune to get. Okay, so Blessing isn't gonna turn around as that Earthshaker solo dies to the Crystal Maiden. Radiance or actually, was Earth Spirit there? Yeah, Earth Spirit was there and now Visage dies in the bottom lane as well. <laughs> Two Visage just coming. He is gonna survive through it though. And now it's that Razor. Tries and get himself another kill. Like I said, Crystal can kind of disengage. It isn't gonna be enough though. Yeah, Razor, pretty good pick against Crystal Maiden. And with that ultimate, he is just gonna secure himself a ton of free farm. May get punished for that by the morph. Earthshaker in position to help out. Razor has a ton of damage stolen from him this time around. And all given to the morph. Who Attacks rapidly fast for this early on in a game. 2k gold lead for the side of Wolf still. Molasses, he does need to watch out. Visage goes down again on the bottom lane as a single point in Desolate. Great. It's just great against really toxic pups who are also played with a way higher level of communication and concentration. It starts, you know, feeling like an actual sport. Because I know esports gets a lot of shit for that. Solotic. Taking a chunk of damage, but as a visit, you do not mind when you have soul assumption ready. Chen ultimate use to try and create a little bit of space. But what space is there with Keeper of the Light teleporting in? He. I'm not sure if he went earn before travels or not. Either way, he had. And I'm still waiting for the big freezing seal to completely turn things around here. Instead, Solotic dies. Okay. Chen is having the game of a lifetime. He is happy with where he's at right now. Also, chat move, always skill divine favor if you're support Chen. I know core Chen's hate on it and... Uh-oh. Looks like... The stomp is gonna continue. We are almost in Onage territory at this rate. Stupendous. Keeper of the Light wants TZ there. Echo Slam, but to no avail. Or actually, Storm Spirit had a lot of mana ready to go, and it was just enough to catch up with Keeper of the Light. Never mind that. That was one long range ball lightning, but with a Kaya and a Soul Ring. You can suddenly, even with Dyer's a super low mana pool, catch back up and go ham on someone. Speaking of catching up more, he says, as Keeper of the Light trying to chase. But what with Stormsword is the one hero you may not be able to reliably lock Dyer's down with this draft? Not unless you pick up an Orchid or... Well, hex any item to counter free. More things, going ham as a big machine gun. Razor also stealing damage back try and survive, but more has better attack speed, meaning he wins that trade. Molest, though, still alive. What a chat. And TZ may die for that. Molest actually got sniped by the Visage. That freaking soul assumption range. 
too big to deal with. And well, Chen drops on the back to the morphing. Down goes TZ on the Earthshaker. BBH, they got things under control. They were just waiting in fighting shape as soon as you got the BKB coming in. On mid, Keeper of the Light tried to solo death. Got so for it, and now his team does rejoin, and Chen goes on down. Well, he wasn't trying to solo death. It's more like Keeper of the Light is faster than anyone, so you end up accidentally frontlining when you just want to place down a quick AoE, and Earth Spirit dropping lower. Magnetize dropped on Storm. They want Blessing. The stun connects before Earth Spirit goes on down. That means Blessing is some real danger, and he goes down with Storm. Storm Spirit finally dying, and the... And Chen, well, he still has a super powerful creep army. Speaking of super powerful, Morph gets ganked. Nice trade up look away because I know he's just gonna be hit for a few seconds before we see whether he escapes it or not, and he doesn't. Now, the rest of the team that tried to rejoin Morph to protect him are getting slaughtered in the back. Chen died, but what's a dead Chen matter? His creeps are still there. They are still helping out Molasses. Last on the Razor. Up for another brawl, but maybe not under these conditions. Earthshake, though, says you do not kill my Razor. Keeper of the Light will, anyways. But only after Earth, Earth Spirit goes down, TZ goes down. Killing spree for the visit. And the creep. It's so exciting when, like, that last second miss comes out and somebody lives on the turnaround, and we get another team fight. But it will just be a pick up on Keeper of the Light to start things off. They make it look easy despite the BKB. And that's the BKB down in duration as well. Crystal Maiden going to set up an ultimate. Super low health, but will survive. Storm Spirit still kiting around on the side. Earth Spirit, brother, already died. And now Storm out of mana, stuck in the fight, but he still has damage left to out. Just no Crystal Maiden in rage. Visage, way too tanky and. Rave pack means you cannot fight in them just yet at least. Since visit dropping lower, 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 doesn't. Then it became the passive the passive shadow dagger shard, which I think shouldn't be underrated. Maybe they're gonna try the next Roche and then make sure Spex gets that little bit of extra damage. This dispersion. Oh boy. Visit goes down to start things off. Earth Spirit stuns the storm to try and escape. Manages to glimmer cape himself out, and the familiars will do the rest. Saved by the burr. More fling. Looking for a kill on molasses that gets turned on. Now Pataya. Dropping lower and lower, and morphing to the razor. Without an egg in him, it's not a good idea. As morph here. TZ gonna drop at what cost? It's gonna be the quest lion next, will be the price to pay. Keeper of the light, look at the impact he's having. He needs to make sure he isn't caught, but manages to pull it up. Walks out of there, can defend the base like that. Uh, okay, we only got Thunder Heights. I'm not a Chen player, but some of my friends are, and it's really nice to have insight to the world of Micro and playing StarCraft when everybody else is playing the up. Meanwhile, Storm Spirit is playing Diablo the way he's nuking everybody apart. Holy crap. That's just ridiculous. Like, boop, boop. Catch attempt. And yes, they will find him. The Earthshaker does get destroyed. Close, but they do make it. Rave Pack coming in. Getting popped by the Creeps. Still. The Creeps get popped by the Crystal Maiden. And I did say Lion X has an ultimate, which can turn this game around at any given time. It. I don't know why more people aren't buying it. Earthshaker gets picked off. I was half hoping he would blink around and Echo Slam just for the sick move that would have been. But guess what? DB8, they realize. Their morph is on light, and he's got an Aegis, meaning this is the first time you can actually show... Smoke up. BB-8. They are still trying to go for... Any worthwhile objective. Molasses. He gets hexed, and with that, the morph crits. 
stand and deliver, he says. Didn't even need to steal damage. The crits were enough. 30 takes damage. Wow. The Everybody still gets three charges and a ton of attack speed. So you're just machine gun away. Instant nuking somebody. Who's gonna be the victim? They try the Earth Spirit, but instead he pops BKB. Storm goes down as there is just the main ultimate too. And Storm going in like that without a BKB cost him his life. That's a huge freaking kill, and that means we may actually still see BBH have a chance to reach the playoffs here. TZ goes on down to the morph. Morph happy with any kill he can get. Razor trying to fight against Visage, fading as the ultimate hits into the creeps and not the real Visage that you want to kill. Healing back up, but with all the damage stolen in the world. You cannot fight if you can your opponent, they say. Stun him up and finally down goes the Razor. Here I would have just put a space crit. What's really missing from the draft is a road take. Or better timing on the Spectre. Take the road with Desolate and that's only the Aegis. No reason to start yelling just yet. Okay, Crystal Maiden goes down in exchange for a pretty good ultimate. But now the damage is starting to fall off. Storm Spirit overloading a wave as Spectre goes on down. Spectre immediately buys back, getting herself back in there. Razor, they're trying to kill Molas, but Molas instead gets another kill before finally dying. Morph is from Medic if they can Medi you with Skull Basher. Ready is ready to go. And the only thing they can do other than that is pressure the bottom lane. Like this, take the tier 2. Lion X went down to Spectre. Imagine that Spectre haunts if you drop to it is next to you and haunts out while you just die. Look at how quick these people are dying. What the hell is going on? Well, I know what's going on. Spectre is online. But see how quick it goes? That was 0 to 100 real quick quick. And not only the Spectre is online. Back when he was still... Reddit, well, I can't say inexper inexperienced. He's always been an absolute chat and a guy that knows how to take fights and knows how to rely on his mechanical skill set really well. But back when he was still improving very rapidly and focusing on really starting to get to that tournament level consistently. Oh, no time for me to rant about Molasses as. They will take apart Blessing and Molasses. He's just forced to look on. As that storm dying just there means GG. Well, maybe not GG, but Megas means 20% chance left for Wolf, maybe? And 10% of those are the 60 minute items. And look at the damage that you can tower. Also, I think that's the large reason as to why Morph is winning. There is an Earthshake you can turn into to just do a tenth of a tower's health in a single shot. Razor getting magnetized, pressing BKB. Once again, Molasses is just gonna fight 1v4 for a solid couple of seconds. Impressive performance, but it's not gonna be enough. The Spectre and the Razor together, they're great. I like this draft, I love this draft, but it wasn't enough. There wasn't enough push, there wasn't enough pressure, there wasn't enough.